Good morning, folks. Welcome to, welcome to another edition of my video blog. Um, for folks that are in, in North America, especially the northern part, this is a pretty exciting week. Spring has finally sprung, and uh, a lot of excitement comes with that. But also, I'm actually here to warn you a little bit about overdoing it in the spring. And I've been talking about this uh, for quite some time in terms of running is a weight for exercise, so you really have to ease into it. Uh, more so than you probably have to do with some of the other exercises, such as you know yoga, um, cycling, or swimming. And uh, this actually, this point was driven home uh, again last night. I was out for at a um, at a tweet up, and um, a, a friend of mine came over to me, and she was mentioning how she got hurt again because even going for you know for four and a half k run, she was she was feeling it in uh, in her body. And I mentioned to her that, you know, four and a half K is a long time if you haven't been running at all in the winter. So it's one of those things that you really want to make sure you ease into it. Um, gradual progress, aka baby steps, is going to be your friend in the spring. You really want to make sure, in the, especially in the spring, is a good time to actually work on your form. Really shorten up those runs so you can kind of feel how, you know, especially if you're getting back in the, in the swing of things, you haven't run through winter, really kind of get back in the swing of things and ease into it, work on, the, on that form, and leave the longer distance stuff for the summer and the fall. So uh, keep that in mind when you're out for a run. If you have any questions, as always, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer them on Twitter, at underscore ECINC, and uh, you can actually comment on this blog post. It'd be my pleasure to answer those questions. As you can probably tell, I kind of like talking about this running thing. Anyways, for all of you, have a great day and uh, look, to look forward to hearing from you or seeing you in the very short future.